Hey, this is Brooks Anderson with Brooks Marching Drill. I'm going to go over quickly how to import your own custom flag fabrics and designs into Pyware using GIMP. GIMP is a free app that you can get. Just Google it. Um, it's open source, which means it's totally free. Uh, you won't get the same support as you will with like Photoshop, but it's what I'm used to, and it's what I use for all my Pyware graphic needs so yeah I have Photoshop but I, I use GIMP for some reason that's my problem <laughs> so first of all you'll want to open it and we'll go to file open and then you'll go to documents Power 3D fabric and templates. And you probably won't have all those folders and you probably won't have all these or quite as many templates as I do. But the one we're looking for is called flag template.psd. It's a Photoshop file, but GIMP can open those. So we'll open that up. And a quick overview of what we're looking at here. This is what the flagpole is. So if you wanted to change it to like white or gold or any other color, you can adjust the color of that. Uh, these are the stock flags that come with Pyware. And there's this these little boxes here. There's an eyeball. If you hit that, it turns it off, which means, you know, it's visible, not visible, visible. And you can see these are all look pretty familiar. They're in Pyware. These are the guides which show how you want to cut your custom uh, fabrics to fit on the pole so they'll look right for various types and shapes of flags. This one is for custom flags like the swing flag. It uses a guide so you can make sure that everything within this block is going to show up on the flag because anything goes outside of it will be cut off in Pyware. So you'll just want to make sure everything's in there. Uh, you can fill this whole thing in and have like a bed sheet flapping around, but that would look kind of crazy. So <laughs> we won't use that for now. We'll turn everything off. Uh, we want to or uh, open up the actual image that we're going to use and I've downloaded this one from the Style Plus website and as you can see when you open it through file it opens it in a separate tab so we can do our editing here and then just bring it over to the Pyware, or to the Pyware layer when we're done. Uh, what we'll want to do is use either one of these. It, I use both of these quite often. You can even use the the path tool or the lasso select, but for a quick like this with all white background, this is the easiest way. You'll want to select the fuzzy select tool, which will select an entire area that is all connected of the same color. Because we want to get rid of this white, or we want to deselect the white. So I'll click out here into the white area, and you can see that's all selected, but we have these kind of jagged edges because just whatever, the image is compressed, so it adds these weird little things. So we want to go to the threshold, which is going to determine the tolerance of how many shades of white can be selected. So if we turn that up, it's going to select more white, if that makes sense. So little areas that might be a little bit off color until you're happy with it. It looks pretty good here. I also like to do feather edges, which kind of fades the edges very slightly. It gives it a uh, just a softer, cleaner look. It's hardly noticeable. So now we have this white area selected. We don't want the white area. And I apologize if you do it different or if you think I'm doing it wrong, feel free to comment. <laughs> but this is just how I do it. So we have the white area selected and we don't want it. So I'm going to go up to here to select and invert. So what that does is it switches what's selected. So now the white is no longer selected but the flag is. And you can do control C to copy or we can go over here and copy or you can cut. Uh, I usually use cut just to make sure it's working. And it's gone. Now we can go over here and I'll turn on this 
layer because that's the one that is the same shape as the flag and I'll hit you can either hit control V or you can go over here and paste and you'll see that the flag is way too big and so what I do is I usually line up the top corner and then I go over here to the scale tool and I'm sure there's a better way to do this but <laughs> this is just how I do it um, and then you can kinda like scale it if you want to make sure it's not squishing you can hold control and it'll scale um, together <laughs> so I'll do that oh pretty close and whoops sorry I messed up too small Alright, and then to move stuff around you want to use this tool, the move tool. It seems obvious, but it's not always necessarily obvious. Uh, and you just line it up to the top corner, and you can turn off the guide. Oh, you see, <laughs> sorry. Also, since we pasted the layer, it's not, like, in there for sure yet. So we'll go over here, we'll right click and then to new layer. So now it's its own layer that we can turn on and off. And then we can get rid of the guide and we have their flag. So what we'll do is we'll go to file, export as, I'll go back into the fabric folder, uh, I'll create a file folder called tutorial, and I'll save this as tut flag and then you have to either type in the extension which I use PNG or you can select the extension down here now you have to use PNG or another t similar file format that has alpha which means that it has clear it can support this clear background I just use PNG it's pretty universal and then export and you won't really need to mess with any of this stuff I think the default is a uh, I'll leave it there. Export, and it's done. So, in Pyware, we will add a couple performers. Then I have mindset. If I do F, they'll automatically be flutes. That's not right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. G. Oh, that's cute. Repeat symbol. <laughs> okay. So they have these default flags now, and with either one or all of these selected, we'll go into the fabric or the visual editor. fabric and visual options and these are all <laughs> they're in the mail uniform marcher one uh, nope that's not what I meant sorry <laughs> we'll go down to flag these are the custom flags and you'll hit the little pencil and then browse to where we just saved that Select that. Make sure it's selected. Choose. Okay. And ta-da! Our new flags are in. So <laughs> there we go. Pretty fun. I hope this was some kind of help and not too uh, incoherent. <laughs> Thanks for watching.